Uh, let me see the comments. Right, so Nadia says, I think your attitude helps towards you becoming a team leader. I know someone who was always complaining he's not getting promoted because he's black. Total victim mentality and all he was, and all he was doing was... Oh, okay, all he was doing was moaning that he didn't get promoted. I said to him, stop complaining, work harder and prove yourself. And even shit like that, right? So obviously, you talk to, probably a guy that you talked to before now or something like that, right? That is not attractive to women. Yeah? You're acting like a bitch, bro. Moaning, complaining. Oh, woe is... Oh, I can't get anywhere because of the colour of my skin. Bro, as I said before, I think it was in a live stream yesterday, yeah? Part of being a fucking man is overcoming adversity. Overcome adversity. Overcome tough times. Yeah? Even if you start off in a deficit, yeah? You need to be able to push for it and work for it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I remember that guy you told me about still. The Marines guy. People always want to think of, talk about all the negative. Oh, you know, things are harder for black people. And, you know, even in the justice system, we don't get dealt with fairly. Yeah. It, so basically what they're saying is the justice system isn't fair for black people, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Yeah. So what you're saying is you want black people to be able to commit murders and get lesser sentences or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. So... You're, you're missing the point now, isn't it? You should be thinking to yourself, well, we don't want black people to commit murders anyway. So the ones that do commit murders, we don't give a fuck how severely they're punished, yeah? Now, if someone was just in a fight, yeah, and someone died, yeah, that's different, yeah? But a man went out with the intention to kill someone. No, 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 no. Because if you're in a fist fight with someone, I'm sure, you know, I've never had no intentions to kill someone in a fist fight, and I've had plenty of fist fight, innit, yeah? I've won a lot and I've lost a lot of fist fights, yeah? So my intention was never to kill anyone in a fist fight. Now, God forbid, even though I don't believe in God, God forbid I kill someone in a fist fight, then yeah, I would expect to be dealt with, you know, fairly or whatever. And I don't really believe, I, I don't believe for one minute that the justice system is harder on black people, whatever, it? because I've done foolishness before and gone to court and got some ideological sentences and stuff. Okay? When, I'm, when I got sent to prison, the reason why I got sent to prison is because I got involved with a case, right? A couple men, right? In my area, there's two teams, yeah? One team over here, one team over here, innit, yeah? Couple men from this team beat up someone from this team, yeah? And they took his bike. Now, because it was on um, the train, uh, on the train, they saw, the British transport got involved and they saw it as a robbery, yeah? That ain't a robbery. They beat up an op, and they took his bike, yeah? That ain't a robbery, yeah? They, their intention wasn't, oh, that's that's a nice Carrera you got there, or that's a nice Ridgeback you got. No, i uh, smack him up. So anyway, I know both parties, right? So party A, who got arrested for the robbery, yeah, said to me, yo, man, you know my man, innit? Yeah, I beg, you, I beg you tell him to drop the charges against man, and we'll give you back, and, and tell him I'll give him back the bike, innit? So man, no the other person, innit? So I went to his house, on a humble thing, on my jacks, yeah? And I said, yo, to the boy, to the boy's mum, yeah, oh, I beg you tell my man to drop the charge against them lot and I'll get you the bike back or whatever, innit? Now, because I know the boy's mum, she saw it as like, oh, I'm picking sides, whatever, innit? Yeah, and she snaked me and she lied and she basically said that I went to the house with multiple people and stuff like that, and that was bullshit. So I got charged with um perverting a course of justice, right? And I got a tag for it. Now, I cut off my tag. You know the electronic tags in your house have to be in at 7 p.m. or whatever, innit? I cut that off in here. Yeah? Boom. I've um I cut off the tag and then they summoned me to court now. Yeah? And it was the same judge who gave me the um the tag. He clocked, oh rah, I remember you. I gave you the tag and you've cut it off. Alright, that's it. Man, I'm gonna punish you now, isn't it? Yeah. So he could have gave me two months plus two months plus two months, yeah, because there was three offenses, right? Because I, I, I approached I went to the house one time and I saw the old, the boys, the victim's sister twice and I spoke to them. So I had three charges, right? So he could have gave the judge, who was a white man, could have gave me six months, yeah? Two months per charge, yeah? Two times three, six months. He could have gave me six months, but you know what he did? He gave me four months because he made one of the two months run concurrently, which I don't understand what the fuck. 
it, well, why he done that? Anyway, but I'm grateful because then I, I didn't have to spend an extra two months in jail or whatever. My point is, at the end of the day, right, I've been in trouble and they're giving me light sentences. He could have said, you know what, you, you cut off the tag that I gave you. I stopped you from going to prison the first time. Perverting the course of justice is a serious thing, right? I stopped you from going to jail the first time and you disrespected what I said to you, right? You disregarded what I said to you. You went against what I said to you and you're going to cut off the tag. Right, that's it. I'll give you a year in prison. He could have done that easily, but he didn't. And that's a white man, yeah? So I don't believe they, they, they give harsher sentences to black people. Yeah? Maybe they do, but you know what? Even if they do give sentences, uh, harsher sentences to black people, don't commit crimes. Yeah? Don't commit crimes. You know, ev everyone wants to highlight problems, but they don't want to look at the solutions, right? They don't want to tackle the solutions. Yeah? So black people get harsher sentences, right? The solution is don't do crime. If you want to avoid getting a harsher sentence than a white person, don't do crime. Yeah? Now, if you do, if you speed or whatever, yeah, you, you know, you, you're speeding. I don't expect them to fucking lock you up for speeding, right? But you're going out there doing crimes, yeah, premeditated, you know? You know, speed is not premeditated. It's kind of just going with the flow or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. But premeditated. I'm going to leave my house, yeah? No, hey, I don't know. I'm calling the police, yeah? This is hypothetically speaking, yeah? I, yeah, I'm telling the story, yeah? I'm going to go. Someone else is going to leave their house, yeah? I don't want to get in no trouble by the police. Someone else is going to leave their house tonight and commit a robbery or a burglary, yeah? Bro, that's premeditated, yeah? Yeah, you deserve what you, what, what's coming to you. Yeah? Nobody made you go out and rob people. Yeah? There's still people out here, they think that Margaret Thatcher is the reason why young black people are killing each other because they closed down the community centers. Or young black people are killing each other on the street because the government put guns on the street. Yeah, let's say they did. Why do you need to pick up a gun and kill other people? Man.